Hi, I'm Andrew Wood. I'm treasurer here at St Matthews in Bristol. We've run the radiant heaters throughout winter, uh, turned our boilers off completely uh, for Sunday services, um, and they're clearly different, uh, but uh, people have felt uh, really warm you know, throughout the uh, coldest months back in January, February. The radiant heaters, which we now use entirely and have done throughout the winter period for our Sunday morning worship services, uh, is only about £10 for an hour and a half to two hours on a Sunday morning. So it is so low that it's just um, you know, a, a no-brainer, if I may say, that we should use the radiant heaters. So compared with the um, historic um, gas heating, you know, those would be turned on a couple of hours before the um, Sunday service started at half past ten um, in order to get up to temperature. Um, as you may be able to see behind me, we have a vast roof space. Um, so all of that had to be heated before the heat got down to um, uh, seat level. So just completely different instant compared with having to turn something on two hours beforehand. The feedback from um, the uh, congregation on a Sunday morning um, is uh, almost no feedback, which is a good thing because they would let us know if they weren't feeling warm enough. Uh, so um, that you know, there is a perception that they can feel the heat when they're walking instantly. Uh, and um, it, it, it's been absolutely fine. Uh, but there's a huge commitment from congregation members to support the environment by using much less energy and of course electricity is a renewable source. I mean, I mean, the great thing about the heaters is they're just instant. Um, so we turn them on um, five or ten minutes before the service starts. Um, so they are literally uh, on or off um, and instant. So you feed, you, you feel the immediate benefit. So they have a three-stage heat setting. Um, so uh, certainly at the beginning, back in November time, when it wasn't quite so cold, uh, we had it on the second setting. Uh, and then in the colder months in January, February, uh, we had it on the full um, setting, uh, the third um, setting. Uh, and uh, again, just instant. So if it's not quite warm enough, then you instantly turn it up to a higher level. So it's just fantastic in terms of the flexibility. From recollection, the installation was very quick. Um, it was a team of uh, four or five uh, people, I think, uh, but it was done within a day. Um, and I think most of the work was probably um, dropping the cables down from the very high ceiling that you may be able to see behind me. But what we've done, um, and we did this very early on, is we said that uh, for weekend heating, we would not use the boiler system. Um, so we only use the radiant heaters for our Sunday morning worship. We looked at, um, you know, uh, clearly for environmental reasons, whether we should use um, air 
uh, source heat pumps or ground source heat pumps. Air, air source heat pumps um, clearly requires a lot of top up uh, over the winter months when the ambient temperatures are that much lower. Uh, and the ground source heat pumps, um, you either need a fairly large acreage to put a horizontal grid uh, in or you need to go down a long way and I think in our case it was uh, around about 100 metres so in terms of the uh, very substantial costs but also the risk that you might not be able to proceed it was something that we uh, felt we, 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 we couldn't proceed with. Working with Herschel, I mean, this is clearly a very new development in terms of the technology and particularly the way that it's packaged up into these um, uh, chandelier fittings that you can see behind me. Um, and just a very innovative, very fast moving company um, that has worked with us really closely to, to get to the solution that you can see.